Hello everyone. Welcome to Wave Optics and Semi Semiconductor Physics course. Today we are going to discuss about thin films. So as you see, the soap bubbles are displayed different colors when they are exposed to white light, as well as in CD disc also that we have seen. And oil sprinkle on water also it shows some different color pattern. So this is all because of uh, interference. But the same thing, plastic balls. If you see here, these plastic balls, even if you keep it uh, in sunlight, but doesn't show any interference pattern. Why? Why? Because basically, what are the soap bubbles are having thickness? The thickness of the film, like this. That means the soap bubble is a water. There is a water, thin water layer. That layer thickness is in micrometers, which is very, very small. When in that case, when sunlight is incident on it, then interference pattern appears. If, if you use instead of sunlight, if you use any monochromatic source of light, then for example, green color light, if you use, you can see like bright and dark, bright, dark, this type of interference pattern you can get. But if you take white light, that means sunlight, then if you see this type of different color patterns, you can observe. Then how it happens, let's discuss in more detail. Uh, for example, if I take a small part in a soap bubble, there is a small part, even I have shown it is a very large, but even it is very, very small part you can imagine that part if it is in parallel it is like a rectangular one if i cut down on this sphere then top outside is air and that area is having the water actually if you take the refract index of water is mu and again inside it is only open space that is also air so you can imagine a small part of that sphere that water sphere okay now if one light wave incident on it. So light ray incident on at one, on surface at point A. So as I said, for this case, for today, we discuss only for monochromatic source of it. That means single wavelength. That means pattern will come like this. Incident on at point A. Then what will happen? So this is different medium. This is different medium. And here at a point A, the light will get a reflect as well as refract inside the medium. So once it is refracted here at point B, again, it reflects back into the medium. Again, also it is refracted also, downward also it reflect. Okay, the reflector ray. So we are considering this reflector ray. Again, this reflector ray here, again, reflect, again, refract. So like this, like this, what will happen? Two refracted rays are coming from this bubble this surface, thin surface. The thickness of the surface is T. This T should be in always, if you see practically, it is in micrometers or sub-micrometers, sub-millimeters. That means more than millimeter, less than millimeter, more than micrometers. So like that, the dimension will be there. Now, this light ray generated two reflector rays. Okay. So now you can imagine, that means simply, a, by in order to derive this thing, whatever the interference pattern is there, that we can derive. Uh, for that, we have to take this geometry. Now, if you draw a normal at this point, then it is angle of incidence. So these two are angle. Angles are equal because of the laws of reflection. And as well as this is transmission, angle of refraction. And now another line, if I draw a normal, at point D, then what will happen? This is if the angle is R, this angle is also R, and this is R, so that this is also R. And now again, I just draw a normal here because these two light rays here, here, these two are getting superposed. For example, if you keep your eye or our screen, if you keep your eye is here, then what are the reflected rays? There are so many. I just drawn only one beam, one light ray. 
like that there are so many reflector rays are coming all these reflector rays will reach to your eye that means it is your screen where it get whenever they are reaching at this point they are getting superposed and produce this type of interference pattern now our interest is uh, what is the conditions to produce interference pattern for example for bright for dark so in order to coming for bright what is the condition for dark dark fringe what is the condition for that what we have to find we have to find path reference so path reference between these two rays so we we considered like these two rays what is the path reference means so if you draw a normal here then this is the extra length it is traveled of the this light ray but what is the difference between this path reference between these two light rays is for example light ray is here one light ray that means from this point the light ray is reached at, at this point is this point is r and another light ray it is not just coming from here it is originated from here only from here to here it travel again from here to it travel again here to here it travel that means this is ray 1 this is ray 2 ray 2 traveled as such a long distance from here to here and here to here and here to here this is the long distance so this much of long distance is traveled then if you subtract the length of this thing minus length of this thing then you will get a path reference so for that we just drawn here so in order to make these two lengths are equal here this is one length is there this minus of this thing will give you the path reference so if you do such thing then you will get a exact path reference okay now always you assume like see here this is the air film again it comes to again it, it is also here also air film now always you assume that one light ray it is two reflector rays are coming these two are getting superposed okay that produce a interference pattern if you do this all the exercise then what you will get you will get path reference as i said path reference light ray travel distance minus light ray to travel distance then you will get a 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 condition for maximum that means bright fringe so in order to form a bright fringe what is the condition if you know the path reference delta so delta is equal to l lambda so if you do that thing then you will get a 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2 n plus 1 into lambda by 2 where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc what about for dark the condition is 2 mu t cos r is equal to m lambda where m is equal to 1 2 3 etc so these are the conditions could be arrived in the case of thin films okay so now question is that here the length path the path traveled by the light ray so one this light ray one light ray two is from here to here and here total light ray this is the path but here what will happen the light ray it is reflected from this this surface that means this surface so this is a and this surface refract index is mu so as i said earlier also whenever there is a light ray reflected from the denser medium it will take additional path additional phase the phase will be changes phase how much it will changes it changes phase of phi that means path to path additional path it take lambda by 2 that you know because delta if you know delta delta is equal to condition what is the rule 2 pi by lambda into path difference so for example delta though if it is pi changes the delta is pi means there is a phase changes occur then what will happen obviously 2 pi by lambda into delta to delta means obviously delta is equal to lambda by 2 will come so that means the additional path will be added to this light ray light ray one so for example light ray path for example this is point a if you take what what could be the path difference path of light ray is a r plus lambda by 2 you should take that is the 
the distance traveled by the light ray one what about light ray two light ray two this point is b this point you take c then light ray two is travel distance what ab plus bc bc plus c r dash so this distance it travel then you subtract 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 then that is the path difference so that path difference how much you got you will get uh, that path difference is delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 this path difference will come how this path difference is coming so that we will explain now okay so let's see how uh, this path difference arises how these conditions are arranged so let us consider a thin film so this is one thin film okay with parallel surfaces parallel surfaces and the refractive index of this film if you take it is a mu and the thickness of this film if you take it as a t this is the thickness of the film now for example a light ray a small light ray is coming from the point o to incident r at this point this point if i take it as a this point is a okay oa is a incident light ray whenever this is the transparent parallel thin film of referred index is mu then what will happen light obviously will get reflected so then the reflected light is going like this so this is reflected light ray so this is reflected light ray 1 and but again what will happen this light ray not only here reflect here also it get transmit so this is transmitted downward okay so now let's consider what is the angle of incidence the angle of incidence is here is what so if you draw a normal is here this is angle of incidence because angle of incidence angle of reflection both are same so both are equal similarly what is the angle of refraction this is angle of refraction r so now what will happen the light ray the light ray incident here again it will get reflected so this is the reflected light ray so during this reflection again here what will happen the same phenomena angle of incidence is equal to angle of refraction so here angle of incidence is what if this angle is r and also this angle is also it should be r and this is also r so this is r and this is also r so it is not visible here so let me write again so this angle is r and this angle is also r both angles are r now once it is coming here again here what will happen it get reflected again refracted outside so it is getting reflect refracted so now this refracted ray is 2 okay so now here the important thing is so you forgot about these things there are one incident ray and outside how many rays are coming two rays are coming now these two rays are meeting at one point let's say this point and this surface it reaches here now once it reaches here obviously these two are parallel reaches here here what will happen these two are getting superposed and forms interference pattern so that by interference pattern is observed because of these two rays one and two rays now if you want to find conditions for interference pattern you have to know about what is the path difference so that is our aim of path difference between path difference between so path difference between between what 
ray 1 and ray 2. So, this is what our aim. So, this we have to find. So, in order to find the path difference, just we do something. Okay. So, geometrically, let us say this point is, this is A. Now, this point if you say this is B and this point if you take it as a C. And now, again here, this point if I say it is R, this is something like R dash. Okay. Now, so now if you draw a perpendicular from here to here, so just a dry perpendicular. So that means this is 90 degree. This point if I take it as a D. Again, if I extend this one, this line towards here on front surface. Okay. Now this point if I take it as E. Okay. Point E if I take it, this is point E. So this is okay. Now, what is the path difference between these two rays? So that is what our aim. Path difference means how this ray is going to travel. So for example, if you are looking from here, if you are looking from here from this point, so from where ray 1 is coming, it is coming from this point. That means the path traveled by the light ray 1 is from A to R. So this is A R. In which medium it is? It is in for example, this is air. If you take it as a air, let's say it is the referred index of the air. Referred index of the air is one, so that one into ar. Okay, this is the path ray path uh, distance traveled by the ray one. And the second one is if you take this one. So this is coming from where the light is coming from C. But see how it is reached. It is reached from B. But how B it is reached from it is A. So that means second light ray is traveled from where it is from this point only one light ray is coming like this another light ray it is going here 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 and like this. So it reaches the same point but the ray to travel this much of distance. So what is the distance? So it is traveled inside inside the referred index is what in, in which medium it is mu. So that means mu into mu into it travels a distance a b plus again BC plus again it travel distance from CR dash CR dash means what is CR dash it is in air air means 1 into CR dash so this is the light ray to travel distance like this okay so now path difference means you have to subtract these two but here the condition is that for light ray 1 it is coming from air means it is a rarer medium. This is referred index of something bubble or water something mu. It is denser medium. So light ray 1, the light ray 1, it is refracted light ray from the denser medium. Whenever it is refracted from the denser medium, the path, the phase will change. So phase how many degree will change? 180 degree phase will change. This we discussed earlier also. So 180 degree phase change is occurred so that what will happen there is additional path difference will come so that additional path difference is plus lambda by 2 will occur so this is the path traveled by the light ray 1 and this is the path traveled by the here it is not coming from it is coming from inside okay so then there is no it is not a reflected ray anyway and it is a transmitted ray so here this uh, this uh, phase change cannot applicable for this light ray so now path difference path difference is equal to so light ray means a r so sorry 2 minus 1 it should be 2 minus 1 2 means mu into a b plus b c plus c r dash minus this one a r plus lambda by 2 so this is the path difference but if you see here the dr and the cr dash both are equal so this this and this are same length this is same length right if you draw normal means same length is there okay so it is a parallel one so you see here so this is parallel one so then ar we can write how what you can write ar is equal to we can write ar is equal to ad plus 
dr okay instead of ar we can write ad plus dr so that mu is mu into ab plus bc plus cr dash minus instead of ar we can write a d plus dr plus lambda by 2 now as we know this cr dash is equal to dr so both are equal that means this one and dr this one is equal so then what will happen phase difference is mu into a b plus b c so you take it minus inside minus a d minus lambda by 2 so this is the path difference delta if you take delta is like this so this is the initial one so path difference delta is equal to mu into a d plus a b plus b c minus a d minus lambda by 2 the path difference delta is equal to mu into a b plus b c minus a d minus lambda by 2 so here what we have to find what is a b what is b c what is a d here what is the known factors mu we know refract index of the film you know and thickness of the film you know and angles so you have to derive a b b c a d values in terms of these known values so for that so let's consider the triangle triangle a b e so if you see this triangle a b e this is angle r so from this what we can write cos r is equal to so this is angle this is 90 degree now cos r means adjacent side so this is angle is here for this angle this is adjacent side that means b by hypotenuse here hypotenuse is this one a b so from this what you can write a b is equal to b is how much b is the thickness of the film so t by cos r similarly you can do the same exercise for b e c triangle b e c in this triangle you can write directly cos r is equal to here also t by cos r how it is opposite adjacent side means b e so t by uh, by hypotenuse hypotenuse means sorry here it is not hypotenuse means b c so therefore what you can write b c is equal to t by cos r now we got a b we got b c a b we know so this is a b b c also we got so now only thing is we have to know what is a d so if you know this one then our job is finished so for this that means this we have to know for this what you have to do this triangle triangle a d c so this triangle for this a d c if this angle is i this angle is also i so this angle is also i okay so now what will happen from this sin r i sin i means this is the angle so this is right angle so opposite side opposite side means ad ad by i here hypotenuse means this one ac okay now ad by ac what do you mean by ac we can write ae plus ec so this is the midpoint exactly midpoint so ae plus ec so ae is coming but uh, sin i is okay but ae ec we don't know so for that what you have to do but uh, taking again a b e triangle triangle a b e we need a e so for that if i take tan r tan r is equal to what is the tan r opposite side by adjacent side that means a e by b e so a e by b e means what you what it could be so a e is equal to b means what t so t into tan r so this is a e and now similarly again from triangle b 
EC from the triangle BEC. Again, you can write uh, tan R is equal to it is opposite side means EC by BE. So that implies EC is equal to T into tan R. So this is what we got. So here these two AE we got, EC we got. Okay. So now AE plus EC means we know here T and T into tan R. Tan R is there. Now we need uh, one more thing sin R in, in terms of R if you want to write. So for example, this you see here this is A. Here referred index is mu. Angle of incidence is I. Here angle of incidence R. So according to Snell's law, according to Snell's law, mu1 sin i is equal to mu2 sin r. So mu1 is equal here a that means 1 that means sin i is equal to mu2 means this referred index is mu sin r again this is r. Okay so now this is coming sin i is equal to mu into sin r. So you remember these things so ec this is also ec. Okay, once we got all these things, now we have to uh, derive a relation. So let's see what we got. So we got here. Um, so the main thing I'm just arising. Okay, here also. So here also I am erasing. Okay. So now here, what we got here. So anyway, you keep it here. AB plus BC. Okay. AB is equal to, here I will write, AB is equal to T by cos R. This we know. BC is equal to also T by cos R this also we we got okay so now i i can erase this thing okay so now here i think uh, it is ad is equal to from this equation ad is equal to ae plus ae plus ec into sin i so that is what it is there so A E plus E C. A E means T tan R. E C means T tan R. That means 2 T into tan R into sin I. Okay. So now I can arrange this one and this one also. And this also I can arrange. So which one is left? Here sin I is equal to left. So from this sin I is equal to. So A D is equal to 2 T into tan R into sin i what we can write mu into sin r so that means if you write this one 2 mu t tan r means sin r by cos r here into sin r so that means ad is equal to 2 mu t sin square r by cos r so this is what ad so we got ad Okay, so now for the difference. So here, therefore, therefore, for the difference, delta is equal to mu into mu into AB. AB means what? T by cos R. AB means what? Here AB is equal to what? T by cos R. T by cos R plus BC also T by cos R minus ad means 2 mu t sin square r by cos r minus lambda by 2. So this is what we got. Okay, now, so this is t, both are same. So therefore, delta is equal to here 2 mu t by cos r minus here 2 mu t by cos r into sin square r 
minus lambda by 2. Okay, this is minus lambda by 2. So now if you take common 2 mu t cos r, 2 mu t by cos r, if you take common here 1 minus here sin square r minus lambda by 2. Here this is what cos square r. So therefore 2 mu t by cos r into cos square r minus lambda by 2. So if you do first thing then what is our delta final delta that final delta is equal to 2 mu t by cos r so one cos r cos r will get cancelled so here only we get 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 so this is the final path difference of the equation. So now we can derive conditions from this path reference. Okay. Whenever there is a thin film is here then light ray instead because of this light ray this light ray divided into one reflected ray another reflected ray because these, reflected, these two are superheating superimposed here interference pattern that means bright dark bright dark bright dark like this it is formed. So, for forming bright, what is the condition? So, so that is what we have to derive. Okay, for bright. So, according in general, what is the condition for bright? Path reference should be n lambda, where n runs from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. That is the condition in general. So, here in case of reflection geometry of the thin film, so the bright frames, delta is how much we got? 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 is equal to n lambda as comes. So therefore, if you take it here, then what will happen 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2. So this is the condition for bright fringes. Here n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Right. Similarly, for dark, what is the condition for dark in general? Delta is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2, where n runs from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Now, here what is delta for this case? It is 2 mu t. Delta means path difference. 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2. So then what will happen here 2 mu t cos r is equal to if you take it there then it is become plus lambda by 2. So plus lambda by 2 means 2n if you to expand this one 2n into lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2. That's if you take it inside plus again this lambda by 2 is coming. Then what will happen here 2 2 will get cancelled L lambda. Here lambda by 2 lambda by 2 will become 1 lambda. So here L lambda plus lambda is coming. So, this we can write n plus 1 into lambda. So, 2 mu t cos r. Now, here n is n runs from what? 0, 1, 2, 3. If I take some m is equal to n plus 1. Okay. So, now n is equal to 0. If you put m is equal to n is equal to 0 first one, then m is equal to what? m is equal to 1. n is equal to 1 I put n is m is equal to 2 2 if i put 3 so 1 2 3 etc so therefore instead of n plus 1 if i put m so that means 2 mu t cos r is equal to m lambda some m lambda here m is equal to m runs from 1 2 3 etc like this so this is very very important okay for bright this is this is the condition for the dark. So just I will again summarize this one. So in case of thin film reflection geometry, so in reflection geometry, path reference we got, what is the path reference? So delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 we got. So reflection geometry we are taken. That means refracted ray we have taken, considered. Now 
for in order to formation here interference pattern is forming so this interference pattern will have bright dark bright dark bright dark like this so for bright what is the condition for bright for bright the condition what we got is delta is equal to that means here delta means here 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 so this is the condition for the bright frames so here n is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc so for dark what is the condition for the dark dark is equal to 2 mu t cos r is equal to some m lambda where m runs from 1 2 3 etc here it is very very important m runs from 1 lambda so here the conditions are like this so whenever you have you have mu value you have t value and r value so if you take the product of these things you have to take the product of these things if it is multiple with the, like this for example 2 mu t cos r is equal to if you take n is equal to 0 then what will happen lambda by 2 will come n is equal to 1 you take that means second order means what will happen 3 3 lambda by 2 5 lambda by 2 7 lambda by 2 that means if you are the path reference is here it is coming like 2 mu t cos r values if it is moving like lambda by 2 3 lambda by 2 5 lambda by 2 then there always it will found bright frames otherwise here it is lambda lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda 4 lambda like this and here what we find we find dark fringes so that means how so the plot is how it is look like so for example if you take x axis values so it is 0 at 0 what will found so 0 nothing is there okay and 1 1 means so for example this is lambda by 2 then this is lambda this is 3 lambda by 2 after that 2 lambda after that 3 lambda by 2 after that 3 lambda like this now so 0.5 so see it is like 0 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 3 like this so simply lambda is there at 0 we take it nothing is there at lambda by 2 lambda by 2 what will form here bright will form so let's say bright if I take it like this this is not correct so bright is like this at lambda what is form for lambda is means it is dark so here dark will form so dark if i take it as a this is dark so dark it form again 3 lambda by 2 3 lambda by 2 is condition for the bright so here it is bright ring will form so bright means here again this one bright okay so let's say it is bigger one and here at 2 lambda at 2 lambda again what will form dark so dark means here again dark is coming dark here again 3 lambda by 2 at 3 lambda by 2 again it is bright okay so like this bright dark by dark by dark conditions will form so this is what interference pattern observed in case of thin frames see here this is for example it is not the exact one it is schematic one for understanding uh, given this one okay so this is the condition for the thin films interference okay okay thank you